Solve each system of equations using matrices. Use Gaussian elimination with box substitution or Gauss-Georgian elimination. Then the first thing that we need to do is we need to convert these three equations into augmented matrix. So this will be, we have 1, negative 2 for the y, and we have negative 1 for the z, then is equal to 2. Then we have 2 for the x, negative 1 for the y, and 1 for the z, and we have 4. Then we have negative 1, then we have positive 1, negative 2, and we have negative 4. So this is our augmented matrix. Now our goal for this is we will make one coefficient in the first, then it doesn't matter whatever these numbers, then we need to make this zero, and this will be one, and it doesn't matter what will be this number, and we will make this zero, and this zero, and one, and what, it doesn't matter what is that number. So the first thing is, we said, we need to make the first coefficient as one. And we can see here it's already one, so we don't need to do anything for that. But this, the two should turn to be zero. So how can we make the two zero? It's to subtract two. So meaning we need to subtract two to get zero here. So we will use row one. So we have the row one, row two, and row three. So to make this zero, what we'll do is we will multiply negative two in row one. So we will say negative two, R1, then we will add the row two. So this is our row two. Now we will do that operation and we will write our new matrix. So to do that, we will multiply negative 2 to our, our row 1, so we have 1 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 2. The negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 will be ne uh, positive 4. Then we have negative 1 multiplied by negative 2 will be positive 2. And 2 multiplied by negative 2 will be negative 4. Then we will copy our row 2. So the row 2 is 2 negative 1, 1, and 4. Then we will add this, so we have negative 2 plus 2 is 0, which is our goal. 4 minus 1 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, and negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So then we will write our new matrix. So we have the row 1, which is 1, negative 2, negative 1, so no changes for row 1. Then our row 2 turned to be 0, and we have 3, 3, 0. Then the row 3, there's no changes, but we will make that also a 0, so our goal is to make this also 0. So to do that is we will add because this is 1, so 1 minus 1 is 0, so we will just add row 1 and row 3. So to do that, we have for row 1 is 1, negative 2, negative 1, and 2. Then row 3 is negative 1, 1, negative 2, and negative 4. So this is row 1, this is row 3. So we will add them together. So 1 minus 1 is 0. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus negative 2 is negative 3. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. So this is our new row 3. So we will write it here. So we have 0, negative 1, negative 3, and negative 2. So this is our new row 3. Then the next thing, the, our next goal is to make this to be equal to 1. So to do that, we will use, uh, or we can divide 3 
in the whole equation. So, we will do one third of row 2 to write our new matrix. So, to do that, let's write our new matrix here. The row 1 will not change. Then the row 3, or row 2, we need to buy by 3. So, 0 over 3 is still 0. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 0 divided by 3 is 0. Then, after that, what we need is the row 3, this number, the negative 1 need to be 0. So, what we will do is we will just add the row 2. So, we have the 1 third of row 2 plus row 3. So, 1 third of row 2. So, here we need to do the 1 third of row 2. So, your row 2 will be 0, 1, 1 because we need to divide by 3, 0. Then plus row 3, it's 0, negative 1, negative 3, and negative 2. So add this together. So 1 minus 1 will be 0. Then 1 minus 2, uh, minus 3 is negative 2. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. So this is our new row 3. So we will copy this. So we have 0, 0, negative 2. And this is negative 2. So this is our new row 2 and new row 3. Then the next goal that we have is to make this number, the negative 2, to be 1. So we will divide the row 3 by 2 or negative 2. So we have uh, 1 over negative 2 for row 3 for our new matrix so then we're, we are not changing row 1 so row 1 is the same so we have 1 negative 2 negative 1 and this is 2 and row 2 there's no changes so we have 0 1 1 0 and row 3 is 0 0 divided by Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. So this is our new matrix. Then we will write this to uh, our original uh, linear equation. So this will be x minus 2y minus z is equal to 2. Then the root 2 will be y plus z is equal to 0 and row 3 will be z is equal to 1. Now we know already that z uh, is equal to 1 and we have y plus z is equal to 0 which is the second equation. So substitute z is equal to 1 so y plus 1 is equal to 0. Subtract 1 both sides so we have y is equal to negative 1. So we know already the y, we just need to get the x. So using the first equation, so we have x minus 2y minus z is equal to 2. We substitute z is equal to 1. Then we substitute y is equal to negative 1 to solve for our x. So we have Negative 2 multiplied by negative 1 which is positive 2. Then minus 1 is equal to 2. Collect like terms. So we have x plus 1 is equal to 2. Subtract 1 both sides. So we will get x is equal to 1. So meaning our solution for this is x is equal to 1. So we have 1 and y is equal to negative 1. So we have negative 1. And our z is 1. So this is our triple solution for this problem.